What's up? This is another episode of Algorithms. Actually, episode one of Algorithms, but got to introduce it like we've been doing this before. So today we are going through just my daily practice of going through algorithms on LeetCode to try to become a better software developer. I am working for Amazon this summer out in Seattle for their IoT team on AWS, Amazon Web Service. So just to stay in better shape and to make sure that I'm writing the best code that I can, it's good to practice all the time because nobody is perfect. Our ability to program as developers is a continuous progress. It's a continuous cycle of us needing to always develop and get better and learn. Today, we're going to work on integer to Roman numeral. Looks like we have to convert um, inputs of numbers to outputs of Roman numerals. And they give us the list of symbols that we need. I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C 100, D 5, and M 1000. But we can place an I before a V and an X. Everything with a 4 or a 9 in it looks like can be reduced. X gets placed in front of L and C, and C gets placed in front of D and M. So what we're going to do, we're working this out in Java as well, string int to Roman, so we have to return a string and we're given an int. Got it. So let's just go ahead and initialize that string, um, num for int to Roman, uh, Roman num, better naming convention. So that string is just going to be a blank string because I think we're just going to have to append to it and then we'll return it at the end. Just get that out of the way. And now what we need to do is we want to take that integer and just say uh, while while that num is greater than zero, and we're just going to play off of this, and we'll create a list of uh, probably two arrays, maybe one array, two arrays to be able to contain both the symbol and its value, or I guess we could create a map. Uh, we could create a map real quick. So let's create a map of all of the um, Roman characters and ints. So let's go. Um, map of int. Comma int. Um, we'll call this num map equals new hash map of int comma and the second one should definitely be a string now because I usually mess something up by now I'm gonna go ahead and just run this and see if it does anything make sure that I don't have any problems with the code. I don't want to say it's control what's what's the run button? It's just control and then the dash. Cool. Alright. Error. Okay, so we got something in on line four, which line four is where I'm initializing my map. And that makes sense because I forgot these little doohickeys. I set up open and close parentheses. Let's run it again see if that improves our solution. Okay, I can't read the class int, so maybe we just need to throw an integer rather than int. Can never remember these class things with Java. Cool, okay, so now we are actually running, which means that everything's initialized correctly. So now what we can do is we can put the individual elements in there, so we can go ma uh, num map dot put and in this first one, let's uh, see what the options are. I'm gonna I is one, so we'll make it one comma I num map dot put, and we'll need to do this a few times. How many times to be exact? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so this next one is 10, which I believe is X. 
and then the next one is uh, 50 and then 100 and then what do we have a thousand no we probably have a 500 in there 500 and then 1000 and then maybe uh, 5000 let's see uh, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. 1, 5, 10. One, oh, I forgot 5. Ha, that's hilarious. Can't forget 5. It's over 5? Nope, it's only 5. And then this is V. What is 50? So 50, we've got LCDM. L C D M. So now we want to iterate over this map uh, while num is greater than zero. We want to say, huh, or do we just want to do a for each and go for the map? Maybe we don't want to do that. We want to do a for each followed by a yeah, we definitely uh, probably didn't want a map here. Probably instead just wanted in two arrays. So we'll do that instead. We'll just set up an int uh, num int. Uh, we'll call it int array. And the int array is going to equal 1, 5. int array is that, but int needs to be int, and then we need a couple of array brackets, int array, and then instead of this, we need some curly brackets. And this could probably actually be int, as long as I make it the proper int. Too sensitive mouse, there we go. Int. int int array equals that great now we could get rid of that in a second let's see if you run unexpected type okay so int is not expected there instead we do need integer make sure that we're running always check if you're running okay so now we are running so now let's populate this list. We've got one, we've got five, we need 10, we need 50, we need 100, 500, and 1,000. Now let's copy this line. And then instead of int array, let's go Roman array, Roman array. And then in the Roman array, we have I, we have V, we have X. We have L, we have C, D, and then M. Okay, so now we can get rid of this, and we can just say, uh, again, while, um, so let's go four, actually. So for int i is zero, just getting indexed to zero, while i is less than the length of the int array. And then increment i each time. And then each time what we want to do is we want to say num equals num if num divided by the current value so num map not num map get out of here num map what are you still doing in here uh, take the int array so if num divided by int array of the current element so for let's let's take the for the first one oh we do want these in reverse order dang it uh, that stinks so I can go through here and I can flip it up, but we want to divide by the biggest number first. So what I actually wanted to do is set this equal to 
int array dot length and then say as long as i is greater than zero and then I'm going to decrement i each time and what that does is it lets me start off at the biggest number first that I'm going to be di dividing from and then work my way back otherwise I'm going to be dividing and get a bunch of i's rather than any m's if the number divided by int array at i uh, if it is greater than zero if it can be if it's divisible at all then what we want to do is we want to divide num equals num divided by that value and then what we also want to do is we want to say the roman num is going to be what it currently is plus the roman array at the same value otherwise uh, all we want it to do is decrement i instead of if here I think we should say while that way it does it multiple times while num divided by that is zero then we're going to continue to add that on and we're just going to continue to uh, yeah add that in and now let's run this make sure everything still runs and just kind of see what we get okay great string cannot be converted to int on line five so on line five string oh yeah hey huh we're labeling it wrong this needs to definitely be a string it's little stuff like that that I rely on my ID for okay great so we oh we're calling stuff out of bounds somewhere so what we want to initialize this to is array length minus one and not to the actual end position because uh, indexes or arrays start at index zero there we go so now we're getting it again my answer is nothing and expected answer is that which means um, it could mean a few things so we're starting in here what's the first input that we got let's do custom test cases we've got a three let's put a 15 let's put a hard one like four and let's put another hard one like 90 and now let's run this again and see if we get anything for this or if we just get a bunch of blanks okay so we do get next and we do get now for some reason so let's see what happens if we plug in three here so if we plug in three we initialize the Roman num which is our return value we initialize both of the arrays and then we say four and we start at this uh, I equals the length of the array and then we're gonna say while I is greater than zero we want to decrement y each time then set a while loop while num which num is currently three while it's divisible by the int array I while that value is greater than zero which it's not so it's just gonna skip over that decrement y and it's gonna go down to 500 same thing five uh, num of three divisible by 500 is not greater than zero so that is going to not execute at all and then we keep doing that through 150 10 5 and then 1 then we say uh, one. Ooh, while it's greater than or equal to zero because that's getting rid of all my y values uh, so what happened there at least I believe is that uh, because we're decrementing uh, we start off with a value of the array length we need to include the value of zero because there is a value at index zero of this array and in this case we got nothing time limit time limit exceeded that's not good that means that we entered in an infinite loop here okay so now uh, so let's plug three back in here again three again went through all of these each of these, uh, we went through a thousand, we went through five hundred, one hundred fifty, ten, five. Now we're at one. Three divided by one is greater than zero. So then num should equal num, uh, which is three divided by one. That's the problem. I have to subtract here, rather than uh, rather than divide if I have three I want it to turn into two rather than into three again because when you take the number and divide it by one you stay at three okay so now I've got III I've got XV I instead of having the four value which I should have I have four I's and then instead of having XC I have LXXX which is neither of those are what I want so now I need to figure out how to control for the fours Uh, so when checking for the fours, 
how do they do it in here? I wonder if I should manually check for these or if I should just add them to the array. So if it is M or D, take the value C. If it is X or L, If if the number a value divided by that is four or if num divided by int array i equals 9, then what we want to do is we actually want to check in here for our values of 4. And to check for our values, well, at this point we know that it's either a 4 or a 9. So once we know that it's a 4 or a 9, Let's uh, check for one. Okay, divide it and it's either four or nine. If int array i, so if int array i, if the current integer, if the current integer is greater than go back to I kind of think we should go back to when I had this so if it's divisible by 4 or if it's divisible by 9 then what we want to take is hmm Roman num plus equals Roman array I um, so if it's a v it's four then what we want is we want plus one yeah we, we just want to do plus one and then also add on to that Roman array I. So add both of those to it. And then we still want to do uh, subtract the num. num is num minus let's see what happens when we do enter a i divided by num divided by enter a times int array i. So what that should do is, let's assume that the number is 4. If the number is 4, then we take uh, the number equals 4 minus, if it's 40, le yeah, let's assume that it's 40, then it would be the number which is 40, minus the number, which is again 40, divided by int array, which 
at this point would be 10. So that equals 4 times enter AI, which is 10. Oh, wait, that's canceling out exactly what we're doing. So what we really want to do is subtract just the same values that I'm removing. Minus int array i. Huh. Maybe just times num num divided by int array. Is that it? Because <laughs> if we have 49 here, if we have 49, then the first thing I'm going to hit is the 10, which is going to catch. And the 10 is going to say, okay, we've got a 4 here. If number divided, if 10 divided by 10, I'm sorry, if 49 divided by 10 is 4, which it does, go in here. And then we say that the number equals, uh, so 49 minus 10 times num divided by which is going to be 4 yeah I think that might be it and then Roman numeral plus equals that okay let's see what happens there I think this should be an else though else because otherwise we are doing double work on it each time it goes through which is actually probably going to give me an error you Nope, it gave me values. Not correct ones, though. Let's see what we got this time. Okay, so we got the three, obviously, obviously. And IV is even correct. But up here, we got LXL for 90. So let's plug that in and see why that was incorrect. For, okay, so we got 90 in it, all the arrays. Well, num divided by, so 90 divided by 1,000 is nothing, so nothing goes through. 500 again, 100 goes again, and then we got 50. So while 50, while 90 divided by 50 is greater than zero, works. If 90 divided by 50 equals four, hmm, so this won't catch for This one will not catch the 9. Hmm. I'm starting to think that maybe the best way is just to include those values into the array rather than trying to make a special if statement. So what that looks like is in here we just include 4, 9, forty, ninety, four hundred, nine hundred. And then for four, we have I, V, V, I, X, X, L, X, C, C, D, C, M, and now we'll just go through that entire length, and then this time we just do it, and it's the same thing, so that should work, it's kind of brute forcing it, but okay, let's try those, nothing above 100 yet. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, that all looks good. So now let's plug in some big numbers. Okay. Let's run you guys. See if we can get some thousands. Okay, so... Seven. Yeah, kind of high. Everything else, though... Okay, so I think this one's actually not going to be accepted, which is great. Check it out. Line 26, index 4 out of bounds. I don't understand, but let's see if that fixes it. Hmm. Oh, 9,000 is also out of bounds. Okay. Get you out of here. Alright, so I missed one right down there. MMMMMMM. Rather than doing a DC. Oh, no, it just added MMMM. 5,000. 432 should be four hundred and this only did 432 so the expected answer is actually wrong here it doesn't account for the five so let's see what happens when we submit our solution see if we get the right answer because I think I was right there and their expected answer was incorrect Great. So we got it. That was um, a little bit more challenging than I feel like it was supposed to be for an easy, but we went through it. We took a couple of arrays and then we iterated over each of those arrays and then just continued to cut it up into smaller and smaller number and appended to our string until that uh, the number that we had was zero. And once we iterated over all of the possible Roman numerals, we returned it. Looks like our response worked. So I will catch you next time.